All praise to the Most High God is the greatest. Welcome, folks. This is Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin. And guess what? I'm getting ready to give you the tour of my suite here. I'm in Dubai. Um, you know, it's, it's been a blessing out here. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin. And I went from the bottom to the top. I was struggling, but now I'm succeeding. I was in poverty and now I am prospering. And what I want to do for you, pay attention here. I want to give you an insight of what happens when you stay patient, persevere, and stay persistent towards your goals and dreams. So go ahead and jump in here, guys. Put your names below. Let me give you a shout out here. I'm in Dubai. Let me open this door here. Hold on. Because I want to show you guys something here. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, look at this. First, we'll start here. Now, we're in the Burj, the Burj Arab Hotel here in Dubai. This is a seven-star hotel. This is the only seven-star hotel in the world here. Um, this is a private floor. Um, I'm on floor 19 here. As you can see, this is the butler station. I have two butlers that take care of me 24 hours a day, okay? Pay attention here. And let me, let me make something very clear. Hold up. I am not doing this to brag and boast. Understand this, it, let me get some light. It was a time in my life I had nothing, okay? I grew up on the south side of Houston, Texas. My dad didn't have money, my mom didn't have money, no one had money. And I didn't get to see things like this. Understand this before I get started. Whether if you watch this entire video or decide to leave right now. In life, you don't get what you want, you get what you picture. And I want you to remember that it's, it's about what you can picture. If you can see it, you can hold it in your hand. Okay? Wanting is not enough. You need to be able to see a different picture. So I do this video for all my people out there that want to be winners. I think it's three type of people in the world. You got winners and losers and people like you, they're trying to figure out how to win. So let's go. Okay, back down. All right, here we go. So. Folks, I'm Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin, and I'm at the uh, Barrage Hotel here. Um, hotels range from $5,000 to $30,000 per night here, okay? And what I'm going to show you is this presidential luxury suite here um, in Dubai, which is absolutely immaculate here. As we walk in the doors here, you can already feel and smell the opulence. Smell that, okay? I want you guys to smell that. Listen. Smell the opulence, and I want you to see it. I want to take you through, and I want everybody to save this video. I want everybody to tag someone in this video and share this video because I believe the world needs to see this. See, there's so many people around the world that wants to be rich and successful, and there's so many people that won't. I want to guarantee, while I'm here on earth, that it help millions of people, if not become millionaires, people that can control their destinies, okay? control your world. That means you don't have to go to a job anymore. Can I get an amen? That means you don't have to struggle and survive anymore. Can I get an amen? You don't have to pay quarter to put gas in your tank. You don't have to check the price of milk anymore. You don't have to wait for that pink notice before they can turn back on your lights. Can I get an amen for that? So I want you to soak this up. I want you to take a second, take a deep breath, relax, shut the door, go in the bathroom, go into college, away from the chaos. And I want you to take this experience with me. It's going to be about five to 10 minutes. I'm going to let you go here. I just want to share this experience with you. Years ago, I put this on my vision board five years, maybe six years ago, okay? I was in that one bedroom apartment, okay? I couldn't pay my bills on time and I had no furniture in my apartment. Sometimes I get emotional telling this story, but I won. I remember sleeping on the air mattress with my two children that I would have on the weekends, it was tough. And to see this, all oh, praises to the most high, God is the greatest. To be able to see this actually take shape and form, I am grateful. You hear me, young world? Listen to me, folks. I am grateful. I am grateful, I'm excited until the day that I die. It doesn't matter how rich and wealthy I become, how successful I become, how famous I become, I'm grateful. And young world, I want you to remember that always be grateful. At any given moment in your life, through the struggle, everybody has a story. I don't know what your story is, but I want you to remain grateful. Are we good? Thank you. This is my butler here, guys. Let me introduce him. I forgot, what's your first name? Sandeep. This is Sandeep. So 
Uh, Sandy, tell, tell the people here, you got about a couple of million people watching right now. What is your job here for me while I'm staying at your hotel? I'm here to take care of Wesley, the billion dollar version. Let's go! <laughs> He's right. He's right here. And as you can see here, I have a station here that I have my own personal Macintosh here. I have a desk. I can do my work. This is my Macintosh here. And let's show the people what you got me here. This is beautiful. We have a company. This is best for you. Yeah, yeah. It's all for your business purposes. Thank you so much, sir. business in Malaysia. So Malaysia is on one side. Business is on one side. I love this. We have this lovely tea and coffee. Oh, my God. I'm not a coffee drinker like that, but it is to my disposal. And you notice everything is gold. Everything is gold. I want you to understand, this is a gold um, plated room here. And look at this wonderful, oh, this. Now, you know, I've been to many countries around the world. I've been to over 35 countries. I've never had a hotel that took my Instagram picture and they framed it. And it's in chocolate that I can eat right now. All praises to the most high. That is insane. I mean, <laughs> that, oh, thank you so much, sir. Look, he, he takes the paper off the straw for me because, you know, I can't do that. So he makes sure he takes that paper out so I can get a sip, guys. Mm. Can I get an amen? Let's go. So if you see out throughout the room here, um, my man, man, the bully here, he's sand, sand deep, he hangs out and he just makes sure everything is good for me here. But if you go through the room here, um, when you step in, you got some fruit waiting on you. But I want you to see the opulence in the room. Now, disregard that young man right there. Who is this young man on this couch? He's another king. He's hanging out as well. But as you can see, oh, you got a bed. See, bro, you can sleep right there. Oh, he got, they got the bed for this guy? <laughs> nice, nice. But so you see here. This is the downstairs level. Guys, pay attention here. Tag somebody in this video right now. If you can hear me clearly, type the words, let's go. If you guys, um, at the end of this video, I want to give you guys an offer because I want to help at least maybe 10 of you to come alongside with me so I can coach you. Okay? I want you to say, let's go. Now, because I understand this in life. Everybody needs somebody. Everybody needs a mentor. Hey, Herman, let's talk about you. Now, this guy is... Um, he hangs out with me. He has the number one limo service in Houston, Texas right now. He's going global. Yeah. He's actually doing some business in Dubai. We're going to Abu Dhabi tomorrow to take care of some big deals. Tell him about the experience so far you've had in this hotel here. Oh, it's a fabulous uh, hotel. Uh, seven star, great amenities, excellent food. Oh, praise the to the most high. Superior, God is the greatest. Superior customer service. First class, the rooms are up to date. They even prepared me a bed. They probably, look, so he's staying in a different hotel, but since he's my main man here, they made sure he had a place to stay in my room. All praises to the most high God's the greatest. I wish you guys could see this view here, but maybe tomorrow I'll do another video so you can see this, okay? Now, if you guys can hear me, I want you to come at the word, let's go. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go upstairs because I want you guys to see the master bedroom here. Now, this is going to be amazing. Now, understand this. I want everybody that's listening to my voice to type these words below. In life. Oh, <laughs> I like that. What, what did that say? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Look at that. Even my brother's talking about let's go. Everybody got, look at this. Hey, don't you got dreams? You got dreams? We do. We do. Everyone has dreams. You got dreams, right? Are you going to fulfill your dreams? Sure. How are you going to fulfill your dreams? Follow your mind, right? And by taking Initiative. action. Action. Taking action. Let's go. Then. Let's go. Let's get upstairs, folks. Understand this. Everybody that's listening to my voice, everybody that can see these stairs right now as I'm walking up these stairs, you have dreams. That's why you're watching this video here. Okay? Again, I'm not doing this video to brag and boast. I'm giving you a picture of success. Write this below, please. In life, you do not get what you want. Listen, in life, you do not get what you want. You get what you picture. Here's my shoes here. We're upstairs here. Let's look at myself. I'm looking good. I'm a king. I'm prosperous. I'm amazing. I'm great. I'm intelligent. I'm wealthy. I love you, Wesley Virgin. I love you, Wesley Virgin. This is what you got to do. I'm not being conceited right now, but you got to talk to yourself. It's called positive self-talk. Every day, you got to tell yourself about yourself. Why? Because the world has an opinion about you. 
But fuck the world's opinion. It's all about you. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this bathroom here. Wow. You can see him. They have Hermes here. Hermes. Hermes. We have two toilets because, you know, what's the point of having one toilet when we can have two? Right? Got my Yeezys right here. All praise to the most high. God is the greatest. Look at this. You know, this is such a blessing. I have a jacuzzi tub here. A shower as well. But see, this is this room maybe is five, I think it was five, six thousand dollars per night. We're staying here for like five, six nights. Don't worry about the price. It's all about the experience, okay? Some of you may say, oh, you spend too much money, Wesley. That's too expensive, Wesley. That's a waste of money, Wesley. Let me share something with you. It's all about my quality of life. It's all about for me to be comfortable. And I know what I want. See, that's why I'm different from a lot of you. A lot of you want this, but you believe that this expense is an unnecessary experience. The only reason why you say that, because you don't know clearly what you want. Could I stay in a cheaper hotel? Absolutely. Could I flew economy? Absolutely. But that's not what I want. In life, listen to me here, in life, you don't get what you want. You get what you picture. See, I pictured myself in this beautiful bed here. Look at this. I pictured myself with a mirror above me. As I sleep and I have my coffee and my green drinks, I pictured all this, that I'll be sleeping butt naked in my bed and I will wake up and I will see this gorgeous view in the morning that I'm going to show you tomorrow if you keep following this video. In life, you don't get what you want. You get what you can see. That's why it's important for you to watch this video over and over again. Because some of you are seeing the ghetto, some of you are seeing poverty, some of you are seeing the struggle, some of you are seeing disappointment, some of you guys are seeing depression, some of you are seeing things that are negative. In life, you don't get what you want, you get what you picture here. I got my books here for my reading. In life, in life, you don't get what you want, you get what you picture. That's the room. It's a royal suite here. Number one seven-star hotel in the world. <clears throat> I'm not bragging or boasting. I'm trying to persuade you to let you know this is possible. I'm not better than you. I'm not smarter than you. I dropped out of college. People told me that I wasn't going to make it. They said, oh, this guy's a jokester. He's a character. He, he can't be serious in life. I made C's and D's and F's on my report cards. I made U's in conduct on my report cards. I didn't go to college. I don't have a degree. I don't have a master's. I don't have a bachelor's. I don't have any type of specialized education. But what I do have is a belief in me. See, despite how you feel about this video, some people may call me cocky, arrogant. That guy's conceited. Why is he always showing his life? He's a scammer. Understand this, young girl. I want you to really get this. This is for all my future millionaires. Everybody, for the rest of your life, is going to have an opinion about you. Listen to me. Everybody, for the rest of your life, is going to have an opinion about you and what you do. You can live like a pauper. You can live poor. You can live average. You can live rich. You can live wealthy. But they still are going to have an opinion about you. You can be late on your bills. They have an opinion about you. You can drive a Rolls Royce. They're going to have an opinion about you. You can have a beautiful mansion. They're going to have an opinion about you. You can stay in a cheap apartment. They're going to have an opinion about you. And I think about it like this, and I want you to pay attention to me here, that I would rather be criticized as a rich man than to be criticized and castigated as a poor one. I, I don't mind people talk about why does he wear, look, he got Fendi shirts on, John Hardy, Hugh Blows. Why is this man wearing a $40,000 watch? His watch costs more than my car. His watch costs more than my house. Why does he do that? That's a waste of money. That's a waste of resources. It's okay. It's okay. See, what I'm telling you, you have to be okay with this. Some of you guys, you're not okay with that. You want to be rich. You want to be successful. You want to have all this stuff. But see, the problem is this. You're not comfortable with it yet. Uh-oh. You're not comfortable with being rich. See, the thing is, when I pulled up here, let me show you something here. Stay with me. I'm going to let you guys go. Okay? Look at these closets here. You see this? I didn't unpack these luggage. I didn't unpack this. 
Who, who did this? Wesley Virgin didn't do this. Wesley Virgin didn't unpack his clothes and fold them and hang them neatly here. Wesley Virgin didn't put his shoes, his Yeezys, his Louis Vuittons, his, his Louis Vuittons and his Gucci shoes here in a nice organized manner. Wesley Virgin didn't do all this. I didn't do this. Someone did it for me. Someone did it for me. Someone did this for me. I didn't do this for myself. So the question is, why? Because it's what I want. This is what I wanted. See, right now I'm coaching over, you know, I'm so blessed right now. I'm coaching over 500 people. That's a part of what is called the Millionaires in Training Inner Circle. See, people like you, you know what the big problem with people is? They're so skeptical. You're so skeptical. You're so negative about the future. You're so negative about other people like me that's trying to help you. And I understand how you feel. It's hard to make a decision if you should follow somebody. It's hard to make a decision who you should choose as your mentor. You know, who should you listen to, right? You have so many people online, at church, at school, right? In your neighborhoods, your mom and your daddy, that's trying to tell you how you should live your life. They're trying to tell you what road you should take. But let me share something with you. What makes me very different and the reason why I believe my success rate is so immaculate in the millionaires and training inner circle is because of one thing. I choose on purpose to make my life transparent to the world. See, this is why I show you when I buy a car, when I buy a house, when I go here, when I travel here, because I'm giving you a sneak preview into my life. Because see, the more vulnerable, the more transparent I can be, the more you'll believe me. The more transparent I am about my life, like I can tell you my struggles. I could talk about my difficulties. But the more I share that with you, the more you're inclined for me to coach you. The more you make a decision and say, you know what, Wesley is going to do some amazing things for me in my life so I can make more money. I mean, not just more money so I can live a better quality of life. That's what I do in the Millionaires in Training Inner Circle. But I understand it's not for everybody. See? It's not for everybody. Understand it. Remember this. Put your finger up. 3% of people in the world will become millionaires. 97% of people, they will just work a job for the rest of their life, 9 to 5. 97% of people will only read books, self-help books. 97% of people will go to seminars and motivational seminars and walk on calls. 97% of people were sitting in their beds and type on their computer how to make money online. 97% of people were join network marketing companies hoping that they will give them the keys or the two tricks or the two whatevers so they can make a million dollars. 97% of people are not going to take consistent action toward their goal. 97% of people are not going to take risk. 97% of people are not going to embrace failure. The question is, what are you going to do? Right now, I want to offer you something amazing here. Whether you're on Instagram, on YouTube, I want you to listen to me. I want to give you the opportunity to join me. I'm going to put a button here below. All I want you to do, before you decide to sign up with me and allow me to coach you through the mental journey, not the technicalities, Okay, not the skills. The skills are important. The techniques are important, but not as important as the mindset. But as I guide you and as you decide in a moment to click that button, I want you to think about the past five years of your life. I want you to think about how much money in your bank account. I want you to think about how many times have you told yourself you're going to do something you didn't. I want you to think about how many programs and how many weight loss programs that you purchased. I want you to think about how many New Year's resolutions that you made. You said, I'm going to get my life together. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I want you to think about all those times. And now I want you to think about where you are now. Think about the car that you're driving right now. I want you to think about the house that you stay in, the apartment that you stay in, the shoes that you wear, the clothes that you put on, even the people that are in your inner circle. If you go five years back right now in your mind, how have you advanced? Do you have more money in your bank account? 
Are you driving a better car? Do you have a better job? Do you have a business that's established? Is your body fit and healthy? Are you looking older or younger? Are you fatter? Or are you fitter? Are you richer? Or are you poor? I want you to be honest with yourself. I share this out of love. Hey, you don't have to click the button below. I want to give you an opportunity. See, I believe in life. Someone gave me an opportunity. And I thank God every day I was the right man at the right time to embrace that opportunity. Because, see, every day we opportunities are going right past you. But when until you open your eyes and see those opportunities, you're never able to entertain those opportunities. Right now, I'm giving you one opportunity. I'm giving you one opportunity to make a transition in your life. I can't guarantee you millions of dollars, but I can virtually guarantee you this, that if you take my hand, I won't give up on you. I won't give up. As long as you keep going, so you have to understand something. When you run a marathon, some people, they're going to finish fast. Some people are going to be number one when they run a marathon. Some people, it's going to take them double the time. Some people, when they're running, they're going to have a charlotte horse on their leg. And they're going to be limping across the finish line. Folks, it took me seven years before I made a decision that I was not going to live a life of mediocrity. I was not going to live a life of averageness. Fuck the nine to five job. Fuck someone telling me what to do every day for 20, 30 years. When I made that decision, seven years, it took me to make my first million. And maybe I was that slow learner. Maybe I was that person that it took me forever to understand and get my mindset right to be consistent towards my goals. But I still did it. See, it doesn't matter when you cross the finish line. Listen to me. As long as you cross it, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter when. All that matters is that you cross. It doesn't matter how long it takes. When I'm telling you, I'm giving you a lifeline right now. I'm giving you an opportunity right now. Look below. Look at that button. That button right now staring you in your face. Some of you are like, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. See, that's that bad thinking. That has nothing to do with skill level. That's your negative thinking. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm scared. If I pay this money, is this man going to help me win? And see, what I'm going to do is this. I am not going to help you win. I'm going to show you that winning is already inside of you. You don't need me. I'm going to show you who you really are. See, when you was growing up, no one told you, listen to me, young world. Come on, older people, mature world. See, when you were growing up here, no one told you that you were amazing. No one told you that you were great. No one told you that you were beautiful. No one told you that you were amazing. No one told you that you were a king, that you were a queen. No one told you that you were unstoppable. No one told you that you could do anything that you put your mind to. No one told you that all your thoughts will transition into Feelings and those feelings transition into actions and those actions transition into results. No one told you that when you're mad and you're angry that you can change that mood. No one told you that money is not the end goal. No one told you that you got to think more about the feeling. See, before I was able to afford a room like this, I'm, I'm probably going to spend $30,000 in four days. Of all the things that we're going to do, all the unimaginable things that I'm going to do. No one told me I was able to do this. But look at this. Take your finger like this. Once you change your mind, you change your life. Once you change your mind, you change your life. I'm giving you an opportunity right now to go ahead and click that bunny. That button right below you. It's right there looking at you. It's your lifeline. I have the key. I just threw you the key. Now you need to open up the door. I did the hard part for you. Now you got to go put the door in there and click it. Put the key in the lock. Open that door up. It's time for you to get on the track. Some of you are sitting on the sidelines and you're worried about failure. Listen, if you don't embrace failure, you'll never be a multimillionaire. If you don't get like familiar with this thing called failure, you will never be successful in the eyes of others. 
You'll never be admired, ever. If you're trying to avoid failure, avoid problems, avoid something not working, do not join my group. I don't want you. You're going to waste my time and the people that are in the people that are in there right now, they're not only positive people, they're transitioning their mindset. They understand, yes, the skill they must learn, but they got to focus on their mind. They got to change their beliefs about money. You got to change your beliefs about your self-image. You got to change your beliefs about what you're able to get, what you're able to acquire in life and feel comfortable about it. See, I'm comfortable with someone packing my luggage. I'm comfortable with someone being my butler. I'm comfortable with having $1,000 pair of shoes. I'm comfortable with purchasing a $40,000 Hublot. I'm very comfortable with that. Let me help you. One opportunity. Because after I put a cap on this group, the price will go up. It's not for everybody. It's available below for you. I love you so much. I can't wait to get started with you. I can't wait to show you what I've showed so many people. My goal is to make millions of millionaires around the world. They have millions of people transition their mindset so they understand they have control of their world. Understand this, I'm gonna let you go. The world will always tell you your flaws. The world will always tell you what you're doing wrong. The world will always tell you that you're depressed, that you're hurt, that you're missing something. They will always tell you this. But Wesley, billion dollar version, I'm going to tell you this with all love for you. I don't have to know you to love you, but you are good enough. Let's look at me. You are good enough right now. It doesn't matter if you can't pay your bills on time. You're good enough. It doesn't matter if you've been diagnosed with cancer. You're good enough. It doesn't matter if you don't have a dime in the bank. You're good enough. It doesn't matter if you don't know exactly what you want to do with your life right now. You're good enough. You're not missing anything. Everything that you need is already inside of you. Let me help you. I ask you to take my hand. As you click the button, I want you to comment the words, let's go. On the next screen, I want you to click that button. I want you to sign up with me boldly. If you're not ready to sign up, if you're not ready to click that button right now, that's staring you in your face, don't click it. Maybe next year, maybe two years from now. Maybe when adversity hit you so hard, maybe you need to go lower. I'm going to give you one more story and I'm going to let you guys go, really. Um, I love you. Some of you guys have already clicked the button. So, hey, I'll see you in the Millionaires in Training Inner Circle. We're going to get started immediately. My team, they're so good in what they do. We help people transition themselves from their nine to five jobs to five to $10,000 a month. But listen to me here. Let me ask you a question. And I want to see if you can answer it. Listen to me close here. If a dog is howling because he's howling, Because the dog is sitting on a nail. If a dog is sitting on a nail and he's howling, why don't the dog get up? Listen, why doesn't a dog that is obviously hurting, the dog is in pain. You can see the dog is in pain. You can feel the dog's pain, but the dog doesn't make a decision to get up. Why? I'm going to tell you why. Because the dog is not hurting enough. Some of you are not hurting enough. See, once the pain gets so intense, when you can't take it no more, you say, fuck it. And you get up and you go. And I want you to go right now. Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon. This is Wesley. Billion dollar version from Dubai. Much love. Let's go. Click below. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Later.